The truth is you cannot end bullying. Thinking that you're going to change the mindset of a bully is the worst mindset to have when defending yourself against a bully. There's always that scrub that gets picked on. He's been picked on in elementary school and middle school. He never stood up for himself and he always lived in the state of fear. He was scared of bullies when he went to school. He didn't want to be seen by any of these bullies because he was going to get picked on. I know because that used to be me back in my scrub days when I was in middle school. I never really knew how to defend myself. I didn't really get into boxing, MMA until I was in high school. And once I started to learn how to box, it was funny because right after that, it was like magic. All the bullies suddenly disappeared. Once they saw that I can throw these hands, a lot of the bullies just vanished. But there was a lot of things that I learned from my experience. And that is that if you don't stand up for yourself, if you don't learn how to fight, throw those hands when it's necessary, you're just going to keep getting bullied for the rest of your life. You're going to live in that same state of fear of frustration because you can't defend yourself. The best way to fight bullying is to learn how to fight yourself and be the of a bully if he gets in your face. There's going to be people that tell you that turn the other cheek, be peaceful, don't fight if you don't have to, try to avoid every fight, and you should try to avoid a fight if you don't have to really fight. But that advice is garbage because in our world, in the masculine world, there's going to be people that are going to try to test you. When you defend yourself, you walk with more confidence, people respect you more, and nobody with you. A lot of people look at bullying in a negative light, but sometimes bullying is necessary for you to build character. When you get bullied, you start to realize that there's something wrong, that either the way that you carry yourself, the way that you're standing up for yourself isn't working. And it forces you to look inward and to make those necessary changes. There's two things that you can do. You can go into this victim mindset where you just blame the world for everything. That why am I getting bullied? Why are these people picking on me? Why, 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 why? All these excuses. Or you can look at it discerningly, realistically, and really ask yourself, am I getting bullied for a certain reason? Is it by the way that I'm dressing? Is it, is it by the way that I'm carrying myself, my body language? Is it because of the way that I speak? Is it because of the way that I look? You can start to really assess what is the reason why you're getting bullied. And sometimes it might be some stupid reason, but there might be some nuggets of wisdom there, some nuggets of truth that you can assess and really understand what is the cause of the bullying. Bullying also builds a thick skin. I think everyone's been bullied at some point in their lives. If you haven't, man, you're lucky because I think everyone has experienced it to some degree. One of the biggest reasons that I think that I got bullied was because I didn't stand up for myself in the moments that I would get tested. It wasn't because I didn't have the, the boss to fight, but the reason why is because I had a very strict dad. My dad had a very immigrant mentality. He didn't want us to get in trouble in school. He didn't want us to start fights. He didn't want us to cause any trouble. And he would tell us like, don't get into any trouble, you know, play it safe, play it cool, stay under the radar. He never gave us a talk of letting us know, hey man, if somebody does something to you, you need to throw those hands and you need to defend yourself. He would always try to tell us not to fight. And I think that was a mistake for my pops because I think from the beginning, if I had my kids, I would tell them if somebody ever messes with you, you better, you better fight him back. You better do something or you're gonna get it twice as bad when you get back home. Kids, especially kids, They'll pick on you for whatever reason. If you're a little bit overweight, if you're chubby, if you smell, if you don't have the best shoes, you're going to get picked on for anything. And that's okay, that's fine. It builds thicker skin. But the problem is when they start touching you or they start to push you, start to abuse you, that's when you need to stand up and throw those hands. The first thing is to learn a self-defense. You want to learn how to fight. My recommendations is boxing and wrestling. A lot of people like jujitsu. I like jujitsu. I practice jujitsu as well. I won a lot of competitions in jujitsu. So I know my rear naked chokes, my guillotines, all that good stuff. But I think that it's essential to learn some type of striking. You need to learn how to throw those hands, a jab, a cross, hook, uppercut. You want to learn how to manage distance. If somebody gets in your face, you can throw that punch, get out, get out of the way and evade if you have to. Wrestling, a lot of fights get into the position where you're, you're, you might be throwing hands and then some, suddenly you start to grapple. 
Knowing how to wrestle keeps you from going to the ground and it also helps you to take someone to the ground if you need to. Learning a self-defense skill, it doesn't matter where it is, if it's kickboxing, jujitsu, boxing, wrestling, just learn something. You're gonna notice that it's gonna give you another layer of confidence because you know that you can defend yourself. Lately, in these last couple of years, I've been traveling all over the world. I've been in Mexico, I've been in Colombia, and I know that anywhere that I go, if it comes to it, I know that I can f somebody up because I know how to throw hands. And I've taken a lot of classes of different martial arts, like Krav Maga, I know how to use different type of weapons because I took these classes, I put in the work. Once you learn that self-defense, use it for good. Use it only for your self-defense. Don't use it to hurt people. Don't use it to bully other people. You need to use the art the correct way. Next is to stand up for yourself in that first instance where somebody starts to mess with you. If you don't stand up for yourself in that moment, they're going to keep on with you. We all seen it like in movies, in middle school, this kid comes over, drops your book, pulls your glasses, steps on them. That's the moment that you need to throw those hands. You also see it a lot in jail. When a guy gets picked on, a lot, everyone is watching. Everyone is seeing what's happening. If they notice that you don't defend yourself, everyone else is going to start to pick on you. But when you defend yourself and you throw hands, that makes everyone realize like, you know what? I got to think about this twice. I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea to mess with this guy. Letting it be known from the very jump that you're not the guy to mess with is going to speak volumes and is going to minimize those type of interactions for you going forward. Next thing is to not look like a target. A lot of guys unintentionally make themselves targets for bullies by the way that they carry themselves, by their body language, the way that they dress. If you have glasses, try to get rid of those glasses as soon as possible. If you have to get LASIK surgery, I got LASIK surgery when I started training MMA because my glasses and my contact lenses kept falling out. But having glasses is just like a target of weakness. I know a lot of people are going to give me some flack for this one, but just believe me, when you have glasses, it, it's just like, we're just naturally wired to think that that's a liability for your eyesight. You don't look as tough when you have glasses on. Another thing is your body language. You never want to walk around with your shoulders slouched. Like you don't really know what's going on. Like you're lost with your mouth open. Like, you don't want to give these signs of weak body language. You want to make sure that, that you carry yourself with your, your shoulders back, your chest up, and your head up high. Of course, you don't want to be walking like this all the time, but if you walk up like you're serious, like you're someone that is, is ready, attentive, people will just think twice before messing with you because you have the body language of a man that doesn't take shit. Anywhere that you go, try to display a body language that's more, more confident. And the easiest way to do that is to stand up straight, keep your shoulders back, pop out your chest, and keep your head high. You don't wanna keep, you don't wanna put your head down and walk like this. It shows weak body language and it just makes other people wanna with you. So you wanna keep that body language strong. You wanna, you wanna give this aura of confidence that you know what you're doing. The next thing is to not look for problems because one thing that I've learned, especially from training jujitsu, is that there's always going to be that one guy that's better than you, and he will check you. Jiu-Jitsu has a way of humbling you because you start to realize really fast that you're not the master at this craft, and there's men that have been training this for years, black belts, professionals, fucking killers, and you'll be humbled really fast. So don't go out looking for problems because if you start looking for problems and if you're the bully, you're going to get checked really fast by someone that knows what they're doing. So try to stay away from problems. Don't look for fights. Don't look for altercations where you might end up regretting it. That is the best way to end bullying. Stand up for yourself. Learn a self-defense skill. Don't look for problems and carry yourself with more confidence and self-assurance. Bullying is never going to stop. It's always going to be happening. But it's always going to happen to the people that have not watched this video and don't realize these things. If you implement these things, I promise you, no one will f you anymore. You're going to carry yourself with more confidence and go anywhere that you want with total assurance that you know how to take care of business. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to give us a like. Also, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong, stay relentless, and keep on conquering. You got this. Peace. Oh,